It is quite important that you get to know the power of a letter of inquiry. Well, for that reason, we will start in a beautiful planet with our little friend, let's name him Obi. Obi is represented in the world population. Thus, Obi, like every human being, has a lot of needs, wishes, and potential projects in mind that he wants to achieve. The power of ideas are literally unlimited. If Obi has a wish in mind, the wish does not come true at an instant. Indeed, the power of the ideas are unlimited whatsoever to the ideas. But as a matter of fact, they must be backed by something to, to bring the idea into reality. So to sum up, the power of ideas are unlimited, but the material resources to bring the ideas into reality are limited. So we have an asymmetry of immaterial resources and material resources. Let's put an example to action. Obi has this idea to build a house, but to bring this idea into reality he needs material resources. In economical terms he needs capital. So now we can introduce the purpose of financial markets, represented by the simple bank building over there. The purpose is matching the unlimited ideas with the limited capital through determining the value of each idea. That in turn is the purpose of the letter of inquiry, describing the value of your idea in a standardized manner. By that Obi goes to the provider of capital, where he is requested to write a letter of inquiry. Now watch out, we'll have to follow 7 easy steps. The first one is the opening paragraph. This will serve you as a summary statement. It should be able to stand alone and have a clear image of what you want the reader has to do. It also should answer the following question. Who is doing what? How much is being requested? Is this a part of a larger project cost? And over what period of time is money being requested? Keep this paragraph short. Secondly, we have the statement of need. You will have to explain the value of your project. Once again, keep it simple and short. The third section is the project activity. That will be the heart of your letter. Now you have to bring on a general overview, highlighting why your project deserves a special attention and collaboration with other organizations. In one word, you have to be specific about who is doing what. In the next section we will have to be clear about the outcomes. The maximum would be two paragraph one. Here we have to focus the target outcome and the relation method for project. Credibility through credentials, that's the fifth section. Here we will have to demonstrate why your institutional staff is best equipped to carry out this project. It would be a smart idea to include historic background, awards, rankings and tangle the data of peers. Budgeting means you have to state the total project cost, cash flows, etc. It is your idea in numbers formalized, so keep the budget straight. Finally, we have the closing, maximum one paragraph long. Express appreciation for the reader's attention, supplement additional information, and remember, keep it simple and short. Generally, you are best off if you have the highest ranking person available signing the letter because this indicates institutional support. Now we have finished our letter of inquiry, it is time to deliver it to our capital provider and wait for an answer. So, Eugenio, now you know the essentials of bringing ideas through a letter of inquiry into reality. Good luck to you! Thank <laughs> you.